हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल नेचर ब्लिसफुल ट्रेल टू एक्सपीरियंस द ब्यूटी ऑफ द नेचर अराउंड अस लास्ट वीकेंड आवर ट्रिप वाज वेरी शॉर्ट एंड फोकस्ड एंड इट वाज प्लान्ड ऑन अ वेरी शॉर्ट नोटिस वी स्टार्टेड आवर डे वेरी अर्ली विद द एम टू रीच अ टारगेट प्लेस एट द अर्लीएस्ट National Highway Authority of India has done a wonderful job in making such beautiful expressways where you can not only enjoy the peaceful drive but can also experience the colorful and mesmerizing countryside view. There can be nothing better than driving through these newly built expressways. to save time After covering few kilometers we left the expressway and were on the countryside roads Narrow roads on the countryside were the worrisome factor for us not only while giving the sight to the other vehicles but where to park our own vehicle so that it does not block traffic Actually motive of today's visit was to click one of the bird which was not in our checklist till date Couple of days back this bird was seen by one of our fellow wildlife passionate photographer in that area. We were very keen to reach and catch sight of a lifer. Generally in the birding community lifer is a term used to describe the first time sighting of a specific species of bird. After a lot of struggle at last we got the safe place to park our vehicle. The countryside was giving a feel of symphony of colors with the lush green meadows stretching as far as our eyes could see. We started exploring the area. Our day started with a white-breasted kingfisher sitting on the electric wire scanning the area for its breakfast. As the sun was ascending, the light clouds in the sky were adding touch of drama to the scene. They were giving a feel of fluffy cotton candy scattered across the blue canvas. These light clouds were not actually obstructing the sun, but instead were enhancing its beauty by creating a mesmerizing play of colors and shadow. We decided to explore the area more and went inside the fields. There we were welcomed by the green bee eater. A green bee eater is a resident bird of this area but prone to its seasonal movements. Since our objective was to spot a lifer, so we decided to go further and started waiting patiently. In the meantime, a female plum-headed parakeet visited the millet field to enjoy the healthy breakfast. We need to be very cautious and have to follow all the lead guidelines while doing birding or any other type of wildlife activity. And the topmost rule to follow is not to disturb the bird at any cost. After the visit of female the male plum-headed parakeet also visited the same field and gave us ample time to click some shots with the sudden increase of the vehicular traffic on the road and the caretakers on the field we started getting the feel that it's not going to be easy to spot a lifers now even if the luck permits and the bird comes it will definitely not stay for long ye chidi hai na ye wala e wala dana khati hai acha ji e isme dana hai e upar mein khali hai अच्छा ये सारा इसी चिड़ी ने खाया हुआ है दान सारा इसी ने खाया हुआ है सारा इसी ने खाया हुआ गुड बड़ी ये देखो ये पूरे का पूरा खाली हो कर दिया हां ये पूरा खा गई है खा गई है कब से है यहां पे ये तो जब से दाना शुरू हो जाता है कम कम से कम एक महीना बोल जाएगा सब और लाइफर ट्राई कलर्ड मुनिया 
landed in the millet field. We were super excited on getting the glimpse of our lifer and quickly took few shots. The tricolor munia got its name from the primary colors of its plumage, white, chestnut brown and black. It is also commonly referred as a black-headed munia. Hope you liked our today's spotting and enjoyed the blog as much as we enjoyed while documenting for you. In my upcoming blogs, I will share some more clips about the bird and the other spottings we did during this short trip. Please do like and subscribe my channel to enjoy more such nature's blissful trails.